Hey guys, Jack here from Herba Civil. Just doing a quick video to go over the key features, the common uses and some features and benefits of the Pilex 550cg pole driver. Starting with the mast, we've got a 5 metre rigid mast. It's a 150UC profile and it's a high grade steel, so it's a 350 grade steel. Um, this one here is spec with a 500 kg block um, with all plastic lined and the slides there too so that's replaceable and um, makes a nice nice smooth action. We've also got hydraulic side tilt on this machine. We've got 15 degrees each side of centre there uh, with the main pivot pin in the, in the centre. Hydraulic ram on the far side there. We've also got on this model the hinging grapple. What this does is that means you can swing over top of your pile, grab the pile and use the hydraulic function here to swing the pile up underneath your hammer to drive it in. The main feature of this is that having it on a hinge uh, means you can have your, your pile driver upright the whole time. You don't need to lie this down, don't have the, the weight going too far forward and keeping you unbalanced. Um, it's capable of driving piles up to a 250-300 ECD. Final feature of this pile driver is the adjustable foot. Uh, we've got around half a metre of travel here to lengthen it out for taller piles and then with the hydraulic grapple there we can swing out of the way and drive the pile right to ground. The key feature of this machine is that you can fully control it from the cab. Um, it also means that there's no reason to have another machine holding the pile. Um, so one man, one, one machine operation. And that also means that you can keep all others outside your work zone so it's completely safe. Common uses for this machine it's mainly retaining walls, a house piling and auto development. Pretty much anywhere that a 10 minute pile needs to be driven, um, excellent for that application. We recommend a minimum of a 13 tonne excavator. This machine requires two hydraulic aux circuits on the end of your boom. So the first one runs to the first diverter and that can be controlling either the hammer lift and lower or the hinge on the grapple. The second one runs to the second diverter and it controls either your grapple or the hydraulic side tilt. As an addition to that you've got a case drain as well so that needs to run back to the tank. Um, that's just a high pressure relief so if there's any spikes in pressure it can dump to, the, to your tank there. As well as that there is the electrical cable uh, which is supplied with the pile driver as well as the control box and that's running down your boom obviously as well and that's compatible with 12 volt or 24 volt systems.